My research focuses on the impacts of ocean acidification on early life history stages of corals. So I'm in my sixth year now and when I started my degree, the majority of research at that time with respect to ocean acidification and its impacts on coral reefs had been conducted on adult life history stages. And those were documenting declines in, in adult or mature coral calcification and growth. And those results were extremely important in the context of how existing reef framework will fare in the face of global climate change. But there had been very few, if, if any, studies that had looked at the effect on early life history stages, such as fertilization, larval settlement, recruitment. So if if CO2 is reducing fertilization success, then you're already limiting your larval supply. And then fewer of those individuals are going to settle and then fewer of those individuals are going to successfully grow and survive and so these are impacts that successively act to have a, a very devastating impact on coral recruitment overall and so it's important to look at the rates of recruitment or replacing the corals that we're losing so what I've done is looked at the effects of increasing co2 on various stages of, of coral reefs or, or um, scleractinian corals, which are reef building corals. I've looked at impacts of, of CO2 on fertilization rate, on settlement rate, and on early post-settlement growth and survivorship. And what I've se seen is a negative impact on all of the above. Right now, we're losing corals at an unprecedented rate due to disease and bleaching and predation. Um, and hurricanes. In order and for that species to not go extinct, we have to be replacing them as we're losing them. And so the implications of this work show that ocean acidification, largely due to anthropogenic burning of fossil fuels, um, is interfering with that ability of the corals to be replaced. We're affecting the, the chemistry of the oceans at an unprecedented rate. It's at a rate that hasn't been known to occur for naturally um, for the last 60 million years. Um, and so because of the shifts in the chemistry of the ocean that are occurring, many organisms are going to be impacted. And it's important for us to understand which organisms will be more heavily impacted um, so that we can better gauge the response of marine life over the next 50 to 100 years.